welcome everyone we will continue chapter 9 adaptations in animals in the last video we have learned about the habitat habitat means the natural environment of any animal and we have learned about types of animals that means they are divided into invertebrates and vertebrates now in this video we will talk about adaptations in animal so what do we mean by adaptation every animal has specific body features that means their body shape size their appearance their habits they all are different so they have special body features which helps that animal to survive in the environment right for example if we see camel camel can very well survive in desert but if we keep camel to the snow covered mountains or if we take camel to the uh, snow areas it might not survive because the body feature present in that animal is favorable or suitable for the desert so any body feature which can help the animal to survive in the environment is known as adaptation animals that are able to adapt themselves in their environment are able to survive and if they cannot fit themselves in the environment they cannot survive in the environment so adaptation basically help the animal to survive in the particular environment or we can say that the body feature developed by any animal to survive in that environment is known as the adaptations animal that cannot adapt themselves they die for example dinosaurs it is said that dinosaurs uh, could not survive only because they could not adapt themselves to the changing environment so they die now adaptations in animals are basically the adaptations to the environment and based on the habitats of animal they can be categorized as some of the kinds of adaptations and they are first terrestrial animals second aquatic animals third amphibians fourth arboreal animals and fifth are the aerial animal now let us understand the terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called the terrestrial animals the main features of terrestrial animals are that they can live on land or they generally live on land they have legs to move and lungs to breathe the air now terrestrial animal can be found in the hot desert as well as in cold polar regions for example camel is found in hot desert and it can survive in that desert very well now camel has some special features which help it to survive in the harsh climate of hot desert what are the main features of camel that help it to survive in the hot desert the main features are first they have a very thick skin and they have little hair on their body this feature help it to protect it from the heat of the sun another thing is it can live without water for several days because we will not get water in the desert area so animal that the camel developed itself or adapt itself in such a way that it can survive without water for a very long time but when available it can drink over 200 liters of water right at one time and another feature which is very important 
during the storms in the desert is it can open and close its nostrils and this this feature help it to keep the sand out of its body during the sandstorm because whenever there is sandstorm and they are very frequent in the desert area it can easily close its nostril nostril are the basically the openings of our nose so it can open and close its nostrils the very important feature is this that broad padded feet camel has a broad padded feet which help them to walk on the sand and these broad feet allows it to walk on the sand without sinking into the sand now if we talk about the terrestrial animal which lives in a cold polar region polar bear is the accurate example and on the contrary as camel has camel does not have hair on their body but polar bears have a very thick cover on their body or their body is covered with a thick fur that protects it from extreme cold if we talk about penguins and seal they have also adapted to live in the extreme cold regions like polar regions and these all animals have a very special characteristics known as the fat layer or the blubber blubber is the fat layer or layer of a fat which is present under the skin of these animals which survive in the cold polar regions and this fat help the animal to keep its body warm during the extreme cold environments so camel are capable to survive in hot desert and the terrestrial animals like polar bears penguins or seal they can survive in a very cold regions like polar regions so it is clear that these animals have adapt adapted themselves according to the environment where they want to live or where they are living for so many years when we talk about adaptations to the environment especially the terrestrial animals bear and frog these animals can sleep for several months to protect themselves from the cold so bear and frog generally sleep during the winter season and this winter sleep is known as hibernation so that they can protect themselves from the winter environment so they sleep for that long time during hibernation animals survive on the extra fat this extra fat is saved in their body or stored in their body during the time when they are not hibernated and working normally so during hibernation this fat help them to survive in the sleep or when they are not coming out of their homes now some animals like land snails and salamander salamanders means as i have told you they are the special kind of uh, lizard like animals but bigger than lizard and they are not exactly the lizard but they look like them only so they also go for a long sleep but during the summer months because summer is not suitable for these snails and salamanders when this summer sleep is known as estivation that is so animals which go on sleep during summers this is known as estivation and animals when they go for a winter sleep is known as hibernation and it helps the animal to survive during the opposite weather or opposite climate